without self-knowledge, without understanding the working and functionings of his machine, man cannot be free. He cannot govern himself, and he will always remain a slave. Practice love on animals first. They react better and more sensitively. Conscious faith is freedom. Emotional faith is slavery. Mechanical faith is foolishness. It is very difficult also to sacrifice one's suffering. A man will renounce any pleasures you like, but he will not give up his suffering. Awakening is possible only for those who seek it and want it, for those who are ready to struggle with themselves and to work on themselves for a very long time and very persistently in order to attain it. Two things in life are infinite, the stupidity of man and the mercy of God. Man has no individual I, but there are instead hundreds and thousands of separate small eyes, very often entirely unknown to one another, never coming into contact or, on the contrary, hostile to each other, mutually exclusive and incompatible. Each minute, each moment man is saying or thinking I and each time his eye is different. Just now it was a thought, now it is a desire, now a sensation, now another thought, and so on, endlessly. Man is a plurality. Man's name is Legion. You are in prison. If you wish to get out of prison, the first thing you must do is realize that you are in prison. If you think you are free, you can't escape. I will tell you one thing that will make you rich for life. There are two struggles, an inner world struggle and an outer world struggle. You must make an intentional contact between these two worlds. Then you can crystallize data for the third world, the world of the soul. There is a cosmic law which says that every satisfaction must be paid for with a dissatisfaction. In order to awaken, first of all, one must realize that one is in a state of sleep. And in order to realize that one is indeed in a state of sleep, one must recognize and fully understand the nature of the forces which operate to keep one in the state of sleep, or hypnosis. It is absurd to think that this can be done by seeking information from the very source which induces the hypnosis. One thing alone is certain, that man's slavery grows and increases. Man is becoming a willing slave. He no longer needs chains. He begins to grow fond of his slavery, to be proud of it, and this is the most terrible thing that can happen to a man. I ask you to believe nothing that you cannot verify for yourself. If you want to lose your faith, make friends with a priest. The greatest untold story is the evolution of God. Common aim is stronger than blood. Remember, you come here having already understood the necessity 
of struggling with yourself, only with yourself. Therefore, thank everyone who gives you the opportunity. What is possible for individual man is impossible for the masses. To know means to know all. Not to know all means not to know. Love without knowledge is demonic. It is the greatest mistake to think that man is always one and the same. A man is never the same for long. He is continually changing. He seldom remains the same for even half an hour. Only super efforts count. Man must use what he has, not hope for what is not. An honest being who does not behave absurdly has no chance at all of becoming famous or even of being noticed, however kind and sensible he may be. As long as our ideas are the same, we will never be apart. Let us take some event in the life of humanity. For instance, war. There is a war going on at the present moment. What does it signify? It signifies that several millions of sleeping people are trying to destroy several millions of other sleeping people. They would not do this, of course, if they were to wake up. Everything that takes place is owing to the sleep. Knowledge can be acquired by a suitable and complete study, no matter what the starting point is. Only one must know how to learn. What is nearest to us is man. And if you are the nearest of all men to yourself, begin with the study of yourself. Remember the saying, know thyself. The only types of sexual relations possible are those with someone who is as advanced and capable as oneself. You must learn not what people around you consider good or bad, but to act in life as your conscience bids you. An untrammeled conscience will always know more than all the books and teachers put together. Modern civilization is based on violence and slavery and fine words. Life is real only then when I am. The one great art is that of making a complete human being of oneself. Liberation leads to liberation. These are the first words of truth. Not truth in quotation marks, but truth and the real meaning of the word truth, which is not merely theoretical, not simply a word, but truth that can be realized in practice. The meaning behind these words may be explained as follows. By liberation is meant the liberation which is the aim of all schools, all religions, all times. This liberation can indeed be very great. All men desire it and strive after it, but it cannot be attained without the first liberation, a lesser liberation. The great liberation is liberation from influences outside ourself. The lesser liberation is liberation from influences within us. Live a life of friction. Let yourself be disturbed 
as much as possible, but observe. From looking at your neighbor and realizing his true significance and that he will die, pity and compassion will arise in you for him and finally, you will love him. It is necessary to observe yourself differently than you do in an ordinary life. It is necessary to have a different attitude, not the attitude you had till now. You know where your habitual attitudes have led you till now. There is no sense in going on as before. Man lies to himself a lot. Time itself does not exist. There is only the totality of the results issuing from all the cosmic phenomena present in a given place. When you come to the realization that the totality of yourself what you have treasured, what your friends have admired, is totally useless. You will suffer. But we say that it is only from this point that there is any hope for your becoming. We are so incredibly small, mere specks in our whole solar system. In my opinion, what will be troublesome for you in all this is chiefly that in childhood there was implanted in you and has now become perfectly harmonized with your general psyche, an excellent working automism for perceiving all kinds of new impressions. Thanks to which blessing you have now during your responsible life. No need to make any individual effort whatsoever, right? Meat is necessary when there is hard physical work to be done, or in a very cold climate, or when edible plants cannot be found. Animal flesh provides all the substances we need, both for the intensive working of our organism and for maintaining a normal temperature in cold climates. With thorns in the inner world, there will always be roses in the outer world. Consider everything belonging to another as if it were your own, and so treat it. Transient emotions are lower emotions. Lasting emotions are higher emotions. If you are working inwardly, nature will help you. For the man who is working, nature is sister of charity. She brings him what he needs for his work. If you need money for your work, even if you do nothing to get it, the money will come to you from all sides. If you are meditating and a devil appears, make the devil meditate too. Everything existing in the world falls to the bottom. The bottom for any part of the universe is its nearest stability. And this stability is the point towards which all the lines of force from all directions converge. <laughs>